Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the Psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 87, a Psalm of Korites. Korites were the Levites who were also temple singers from the family of Kohath, one of the sons of Levi. Now the theme of the Psalm is the greatness of Zion. The whole Psalm speaks about the greatness, the importance of Zion. Now what is Zion? Zion is a hill on which the city of Jerusalem was built. And what is the importance of this city? The importance of this city comes from the temple built in this city, city of Jerusalem. And in this temple there is the Ark of the Covenant. The tabernacle of God was restored, preserved with great dignity in this temple of Jerusalem. That is why the the importance to the city of Jerusalem, the Zion. Now let us read the psalm and expound the meaning in it. Verse 1, 2 and 3. His foundation, his foundation means God's foundation, God's regard, God's special love. He is on the holy mountain. What is this holy mountain? Holy mountain is Zion again. So God has a special love for this holy mountain, the Zion. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling in Jacob. So what is this gates of Zion? This is a kind of Hebrew term, Hebrew idiom to identify, to signify the holy city again. City of Jerusalem, Zion. So here the author would feel that the Lord loves the, the holy city very specially. So this is a kind of special place and more than any other dwelling place in the whole of for the whole of Israel. So God has a special love for this holy city, city of Jerusalem. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. So there are so many wonderful things connected to the city of God, Jerusalem. So from, from the historical point of view also, we can also say there have been wonderful things connected to this city. Melchizedek, priest and king, reigned from this city, city of Jerusalem. And again, David, a powerful king, David also reigned from this city, from the city of Jerusalem. And in this city of Jerusalem, in this temple, the temple which is built in the city of Jerusalem, it has in this temple, there is God's Ark. The Ark of the Covenant is restored, preserved with great dignity. And again, coming to Jesus' time, Jesus also died and rose from this city, city of Jerusalem. And so my friends here, with all these things, we can say, we can also, we can also agree with the psalmist that the city of Jerusalem, Zion is really prominent, is wonderful. It has been acclaimed as the one of the most beautiful city. Verse 4 is not the author's words, rather these are the words of God which the author puts as verse 4. Rahab and Babylon I count among those who know me. These are the words of God. Rahab and Babylon I count among those who know me. See, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this one was born there. So here God mentions the Gentile nations like Rahab, Babylon, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia and in these nations, in these Gentile nations, there are those who know God, God of Yahweh. So God tells that he would count them, those who know him, he would count them as if they have been born in the city of Zion. So God will give them thus that regard, that, that privilege to them as if they have been born in Zion. Wonderful. Verse 5. And of Zion it will be said, each one was born in it. And so here everyone will feel so great and say that I am born in the city. I am born in Zion. So here people take pride. People feel so great that to declare that they have been born in, in the city of Jerusalem, in the city of Zion. So here God extends his invitation. His promise of salvation, not only to his people, but also to the people of other nations, to the Gentile nations. See, wonderful, my friends. See here, a God, God of Yahweh, 
he has a plan of extending the salvation to all the people so here god already extended his invitation his promise of salvation to all the nations those who know him those who love him those who worship him last words words 7 so singers and dancers will declare unto god like this all my springs are in you so they would declare unto god that all the goodness that they enjoy all the beauty of their life all the blessings that they enjoy are in you which means they belong to god alone it's like the skies would take the water from the ocean sends the rain and it becomes streams and rivers the whole water again reaches the oceans so every goodness that we enjoy every beauty of life that they enjoy they say they declare that oh god this belongs to you wonderful what a beautiful psalm this is my friends so so the whole psalm psalm 87 speaks of the beauty of zion and the beauty of zion belongs to god because god loved the city god has a special regard for the city and so here the people live in great happiness great joy so my friends here with the spirit with this spirit with all these thoughts in mind we now pray psalm 87 his foundation is on holy mountains the lord loves the gates of zion more than any dwelling in jacob glorious things are said of you o city of god rahab and babylon i count among those who know me see philistia and tyre with ethiopia This one was born there. And of Zion it will be said Each one was born in it. The most high will establish it. And the Lord notes in the register of the peoples This one was born there. So singers and dancers all my springs are in you Now let us pray Almighty ever living God O gracious and kind God we thank you we praise you we adore you and we bow down before you oh god thank you for this beautiful gift of life thank you lord for this for the gift of this wonderful morning for this wonderful day thank you lord for this wonderful fellowship thank you lord in a very special way for the beautiful psalm you have given us today psalm 87 You love your people. You love the city Zion, Lord. We are encouraged to know that you love your people. And you love us. You are so good to us. You are so understanding. You are so marvelous to us. Thank you, Lord, for this assurance that you always take care of your people. Take care of us. and as we are encouraged with this news wonderful and great news may we have enough strength and courage to really take our task of following you help us lord to really follow you in word and deed help us to be your bearers the bearers of goodness the bearers of the truth that we can spread your values to all people whom we meet today use us for your glory give us the joy and strength needed to really be your children bless all your people who watch this program who participate in this series praying through the psalm series lord as we pray these psalms 
may we be abundantly blessed by you thank you lord once again thank you keep us safe in your love in jesus name we pray amen hope you like psalm 87 personally i enjoyed praying this psalm with you thank you for watching our program praying through the psalms kindly stay tuned to watch our program on jckku creations both on facebook page and youtube channel you may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people they could be part of this and benefit as well thank you again see you next with some 88 until then stay blessed